Hey everybody, it's Chris, back with another review for the Blue Collar Beer Gourmet. Uh, welcome to my channel if you've never been here before, and if you are returning, welcome back. Uh, the deal with my channel is I like to drink craft beer, I like to review craft beer, and I don't like to pay a whole lot of money to do it. So the beers that I review on this channel usually come in around the $2 price range, and such is the case for today's selection. I paid $1.99 for the, sorry, a little different configuration, a little strange. In fact, I'm having to sit down because if I don't sit down, I look ghostly white. I think I look white now. <laughs> Trust me, when the light's coming through. Uh, so it's just the way that the sunlight works today. When you're fair skinned like I am, you have to make these accommodations. But today's selection, I'm sorry, getting back to that. Uh, buck 99 I paid for the Garage Brewing Company, Belgian style triple. And Garage Brewing is out of Temecula. Yeah, Temecula, California. They are California brewers. Uh, I think they're fairly new. I, I haven't seen a whole lot of... Uh, I haven't seen them for very, very long. At least they're, at least they're, they're very new to the uh, Neon Valley. And I think they're fairly new brewers themselves. But I tell you what, I have been really impressed with everything that they've made so far. They made a marshmallow stout, which I wasn't crazy about. They brought it back. They, they made it the toasted marshmallow stout. Even though it's not my favorite stout, I still got to say it's much better that way. Uh, they made a he mango Hefeweizen. I'm not a fan of mangoes. I'm not a fan of Hefeweizens, but I'm a fan of that beer. So, so far, I've just got to tell you, I've been, I've been really blown away by Garage Brewing Company. And this is their Belgian-style triple. It's also known as the tow truck. Uh, this has a 9.1 ABV. Typically, Belgians come in between 7.5 and 9.5, so this is actually at the higher end of the scale for alcohol content. Uh, has 16 IBUs. Typically, Belgian triples come in between 20 and 40. <laughs> so it's on the lower end of bitterness. This is actually three days before its enjoy-by date. So those of you who watch this channel regularly know that I have a tendency to bring it, get these beers after the enjoy-by date. So it's nice that I could actually hook up uh, with one of these beers ahead of time. Quick facts from the um, reviewing uh, community. Two of my friends have given this a cumulative score of 4.0. That ain't bad at all. Um, 200, I'm sorry, 2,285 of us have given it a cumulative score on untapped of 3.68. Beer Advocate has only 17 reviews, but the cumulative score on there is 3.98, which on their scale is very good. Okay. Uh, it says here on the can, we believe in making our fresh craft beer with only the finest ingredients. Guess what? It's really good, this beer. Known to locals as the tow truck has a floral and fruit aroma of peaches, pears, and apples that will hook you in. Flavor, low sweetness, aroma, peaches, pears, apples, balance, light, malt. Uh, this has won three gold medals. And let's see. Uh, <clears throat> triples were originally uh, popularized by the Trappist Monastery in West Mall. I'm guessing somewhere in Belgium. I don't know where exactly. And uh, triples are known to resemble a golden strong, but are darker and fuller bodied. What's more, a triple should have exceptional lacing. Now, I uh, I, I did release a, a video a while back. Um, <clears throat> well, I've been releasing actually videos about uh, proper beer glassware, and I am going to be using what is suggested for Belgian ales is either a goblet or a chalice. Well, I have a chalice. I just used it recently. It's a Stella Artois chalice. Um, this, this, I believe, is in fact a goblet. Now, people who are better versed in spirits um, glassware could probably tell you whether I'm right or wrong, but my understanding is, by virtue of the fact that it has this little stem here, it went from being a snifter to a, uh, to a goblet. And I know that, I think goblets oftentimes have more, are more open wide at the, at the top here, but, uh, as I said, I'd like to try and follow uh, the rules as best I can. I did just use my chalice. I'm going to go ahead and use this. It's not ex it, it, it may not be exactly a goblet. I don't think it's a full-blown snifter either. Either way, it's very close to the glass. And that's the other thing, too, is if you can't get the exact glass, use what you can. For example, gozes, you're supposed to drink out of a stange, which is a long, slender glass. If you've watched me drink any gozes on this channel, you've seen me use my stange. But you know what works just as well? A Collins glass. So if you got a Collins glass, use that. All right. I'm going to crack this bad boy open. And I'm going to hold this up nice and tight so you can see what we're dealing with here. And I am getting a lot of fruit already. Just the, the aroma that's bouncing off of there is just 
fruity, fruity, fruity. And I'm going to describe that as a medium-low carbonation. Um, Spartan bubbles, you know, they are there, but they're not overly there. Seem to have a fairly resilient head. Set that here, okay. What you are seeing, guys, oh man, this is one of those times when, when the camera is just not picking up the color. Uh, what you're seeing is considerably redder than this color is. This is a beautiful gold color. Uh, kind of hazy. I can see my hand through on the other side, but but not, not very well. Uh, you can see that head seems to be pretty resilient, and the bubbles keep coming. So I'm going to give this a quick beard wipe, see what we come across. Fruit, mostly, mostly fruit. I'm going to stick my schnoz into it, see what we can come across in terms of malt, or what other facets of the bouquet. Oh, smell that farm yeast. Um, I gotta admit, I'm not a big fan of Belgian ales. Saisons, farm ales, doubles, triples, quads. Never been a big fan of these. However, like I said, I've been so i have been so fond of the Barrage um, brewing selections that when I saw a triple available from them, I thought, well, this is one I definitely gotta try because it's a brewery that I like so much. Uh, so I think I've put off, <laughs> I actually feel like I've been kind of putting off uh, drinking this beer, but I'm not. So I'm going to go ahead and start drinking. Cheers. Well, it's very boozy. It is, in fact, boozy, and uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm tasting just the slightest bit of banana, which you're not supposed to with a triple. Um, i got to say that. That's I, I did read that. I know that very well, the banana and clove. Are not supposed to be in a triple and kind of tasting a little banana. In fact, I gotta say this tastes kind of like a Hefeweizen. Um, I don't know. Seeing as how I'm not a big fan of uh, of these beers, however, you know, at the same time, like I said, it's a Hefeweizen, but I, I can definitely smell and get the flavors of that uh, that uh, uh, farm yeast that they use. I have medium low mouthfeel, um, slightest alcohol burn, 9.1, that's to be expected. In fact, I'm, I'm a little surprised it's as small as it is. Uh, okay. If you're a huge triple fan, I don't know that you're going to like this beer, to be honest with you. Um, if you're a triple purist. Now, um, as somebody who's not particularly fond of this variety, uh, I'm also not seeing exceptional lacing here, guys. I'm trying my damnedest here to produce some lacing, and instead it's just falling right down. Um, I don't know, Garage. Uh, I, I still love you. Don't get me wrong. You're still one of my favorite breweries, especially for a brewery that I've known for, you know, less than a year's time. But um, I'm not, I'm not blown away with this triple. And uh, the truth of the matter is, when it comes to these kind of beers, the doubles, triples, the saisons, the Belgian beers. I'm usually, um, if it's very true to variety, I will give it high points, even if I don't care for the beer itself. I don't think this is true to variety. Uh, we've got lower carbonation than I was expected. We're not getting much in the way of lacing. There's a little banana flavor to this, which a triple should not have. Uh, I can't give this high marks, gang. I'm thinking I'm going to have to give this a 3.25, and that 0.25 is specifically because it is in a can. Um, not crazy about this one, but that's okay. You can't hit them out of the park every time. And the other beers that I've had from Garage have been ex have been just great. The Raspberry Twist, uh, the Toasted Marshmallow Stout, <coughs> excuse me, Milk Stout. Um, you know, not wonderful, but still not bad. Uh, the Mango Hef. I mean, the fact that I would like something that's Mango and Hefeweizen is a, is extraordinary. So I, I still got a lot of love for this brewery. I just don't think that they nailed it with this particular beer. One more time, that's the triple, Belgian style triple from Garage Brewing, also known as the tow truck. Buck 99 for the 12 ounce can. Guys, if you like this video, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, drink good beer and don't break the bank doing it. Cheers.